So today we're going to walk through the steps of registering as a new patient with the Massachusetts Medical Marijuana Program. First, you want to start by opening the email that you provided with your healthcare provider, where you'll be seeing a message from the Mass CI portal. In here, what you really want to pay attention to is this URL and the PIN number. So when you click this link, it'll open up a new tab to your welcome page of the Medical Use of Marijuana online system. You're going to select the top option as being a newly certified patient to register with the program for the first time. Next, you'll be prompted to fill out your account information. You want to make sure that you're using the same name and email that your healthcare provider used as that is what the state will be sending your confirmation email to just like it did earlier. When you're creating your password, you want to make sure that it follows all of these requirements of being at least 12 characters long, one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and one of the following special characters. Make sure that this is something that you can easily remember but not too easy that it can be guessed by somebody else for access to your account. When you finish, make sure that you agree to the terms and conditions, confirm that you are not a robot, and create the account. So now, it will automatically prompt you to verify your email. When you do that, you simply will need to go back to the inbox where you started. Also, that's the same email that you just entered before. What you want to do is we'll go back to our email here. And it's right there at the top. So here it's asking you to verify the email and it's presenting you with your username. You want to make sure that you write that down because that's going to be very important for one of the next steps in activating your account. Now, what you want to do is click the link provided in this email. You do want to be mindful that the link will expire in 30 minutes, so do not wait to finish this process. If you're having trouble clicking the link, you can copy and paste it. Into your browser open it in a new tab or a new window. When I click the link, it'll create a new tab and it just gives me this message here saying that the email has been confirmed and the account has been successfully created. Follow the prompt to go to the login page. Redirected to the login page, you'll have the blank username and password. This is where you're going to enter that username that was provided in your email here. And that password that you had created just earlier. Wonderful. So now you'll be prompted to go to the welcome screen and this is where you're going to continue as you register as a patient. If you're registering as a caregiver, we'll follow those steps in another video. So here, this is where you're going to enter that PIN code that was from the first email, the date of birth, and the social security number, the last four digits of your social security number. Your last name should auto-populate as it was entered prior. Click Proceed when completed. This page here is simply going to be a list of instructions to help you prepare for registration. You'll have all of these sent to you ahead of time if you've registered with the SEED clinic, but it's always good to make sure that you review these before moving forward. So next you're going to fill in the registration here as deemed by these red asterisks as required. For the mailing address, it's the same as above. Simply click this box here and it'll auto-populate. 
from the valid form of IP, this is going to be either a Massachusetts driver's license, a Massachusetts ID, a passport, or a military ID. I'll be selecting a uh, Massachusetts ID. So these here is going to make sure that you are following the rules. Uh, please review and agree. If you have any questions, you can always contact the commission at cccmass.com or you can call them at the phone number provided. So the next few steps are going to be confirming the information that you entered. So this is confirming that yes, I will be providing a driver's license. This is the number that's going to be on it and this is the birthday that's going to be on it. And now we'll be actually uploading the picture of that driver's license. To do that, go to choose file. And I had already created a file with my photos ahead of time to make it easier. So this is going to be for my ID. I've selected that here, the expiration date on that. And upload. So now this is going to give you the chance to double check and make sure that the document that you uploaded is in fact the one that you wanted. So you can open it, view in a new tab and say, yep, that's the one that I had uploaded. Confirm the information once more and click proceed. Now we're gonna move on to the proof of residency. So this is gonna be a photo of either utility bill, your registration of your vehicle, mortgage, marriage certificate, or even mail that's dated less than 60 days that displays your name and address living in Massachusetts. I chose a utility bill. There you go. If you ever find yourself being bounced back to the same page, it's probably because there was an error in entering the information. It will show up in red just like it did earlier that said no file chosen, and that reminded me that, oh, I forgot to click upload before proceeding. So since I did upload that, it refreshed the page, adding this proof of residency. I'm confirming, yep, this is the one that I wanted. And then the last file that you'll be uploading is a photo of yourself. And this is what's going to be printed on your medical marijuana card. And want to be sure that it has a square photo, it's in color, you have a plain or off-white background, it's recent, and that they can actually see your entire face. When you upload the photo, the page will refresh and show you the image you selected. If you like it, click proceed. If not, upload another file until you have an image that you like. So this final page here is where you're going to review and submit the application. And you wanna make sure, again, this is matching the information that you want it to that reflects your residential address, being in Massachusetts, the mailing address, phone number, email, ID. Now, all that's left is to print your temporary card. When you click that link, you'll automatically be redirected to the PDF. And this here is your temporary registration card for the Massachusetts Marijuana Program. You'll be able to print this card and have access to the medical dispensaries here in Massachusetts. And your physical card will be mailed to you 